no, it's a very long process. It was 10 days ago. There is two members of the Security Council, uh, I, I'm going to say that for the record. It's Egypt and Senegal, they are creating a lot of problems. I think they are uh, really uh, covering one of the P5. It is not responsible because the two countries will be out in two years. What should remain is the authority of the President of the Council. Then uh, the press statement is a low profile, but still there is no press statement because of the interference of some countries. What do you think France's position is? Continue to be bad. Okay. <laughs> Very bad today. And they should share the responsibility of the implication of all this. Then uh, it is not a secret among even the members of the Security Council that France is not cooperating with peace and stability in the area. I have no idea what they are their motivations. But it has not been in my perception that it has not been the US position. The US position that Paragraph has been included in the joint communique of last year, in which the Americans say, yes, uh, the autonomy is a potential solution, but is not a unique solution to the conflict. Then the Moroccan are microwaving, hitting up all this old statement. They are very good in uh, manipulation of the, the facts and using it for these special circumstances. We continue to believe that, we, uh, that the U.S. position, at least the message we are receiving, and others like the United Kingdom, they have a, a very respectful, respectful position and very, I can say, positive position, but it's not enough. How would, how Spain, we, how would you describe the position of Spain as former colonial power? I know that the heart is in the side of justice, but the mind is around the blackmail from Morocco. That is not a secret. How, how much time are you going to give the Security Council? How much? I mean, it's now been 10 days, two weeks. Yeah. We would like the Security Council to take position from the day one. Because uh, the more time is taken for this, uh, uh, the danger would grow up. And it would be good for the Security Council to deal with this issue now, than to deal with uh, an open war. Then it's a very serious matter. And uh, I hope that uh, some. Uh, some, some uh, degree of seriousness is to be injected in the dynamic. What if there is no statement? What happens then? I am not ruling out statement, but I prefer no statement to a very weak statement. Then uh, the situation I am repeating again is beyond Western Sahara and the Polisario. It's peace, stability and the power of the Security Council to keep the situation under control in many, many cases. What will you do if there's no statement at all, or if there's a bad statement? I told you the first time the shortest way to go to the war is the dismantling of NURSO without any response from the Security Council. That has been our statement, our feeling, and our position. Then we are still waiting. We are not losing hopes in the Security Council authority. And we have uh, times. I hope that uh, uh, tomorrow is uh, Good Friday. Thank you.